Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to do this very simple graphic slicing animation in HitFilm Express. So this is really easy to build, and what you can do is follow along, build this project file, save it, and then you can use it whenever you want. I am working in HitFilm Express 14 with the dark mode on, and I'm going to start by creating a new composite shot and i'm going to make this four seconds long but you can make it however long you want it to be and it will be this is my final um effect and the first thing i want to do is i want to add my graphics so i'm just going to use a text and just call put something in here it doesn't matter what it is because it will be changed over time so you can put whatever you want in here it doesn't really matter but i'm going to use that and then i'm going to right click on this and say make a composite shot and i'm just going to call this the graphic okay it could be the um you know whatever however you want to you want to refer to it but anything will end up going in there i want to make a note that everything that we do will be in um transparency mode so that way anything uh that is created here can be placed over the top of a video like it was in the beginning of this video uh now that i've done that what i want to do is add a new plane layer and click ok this plane layer will be the slicer so what i'm going to do is change the anchor point i'm going to shift this up so that it is at negative 540 in this case halfway all right uh, and now you can see that this can be adjusted, shifted, it can be, uh, you know, moved, expanded, right, so that it's covering. And the idea will be that I can basically slice it any way that I want, okay? Uh, this is on the left-hand side, so I'm just going to rename this Left Slice, and I'm going to right-click on it and make it into its own composite shot, bringing everything with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new composite shot, call it Right Slice. And it will be the same length. And I will drag the left slice in. And if I show the transparency, you can see. But if I just open this up and add an effect, and it will be the invert alpha effect. And if I invert the alpha, now the right slice is here. The beauty of this is if I change the left slice, and again, let me show the transparency. If I adjust the slice angle of the left slice, it automatically adjusts in the right slice, right? So I come back to the final. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the right slice. And both of those can be um, dropped, okay? Um, both of those do not need to be seen, right? So now the graphic, I'm going to rename left graphic and I'm going to open it up and add an effect. It will be the set matte effect. I will source the left slice and I will, instead of replace, I want it to be subtract. So now it is subtracting as it slides in. And what I want to do is just, um, open up the transform properties and keyframe the position. Let's say at one second, I want it to be where it's at. So I would keyframe that. Moving backwards, I will slide this clean off the screen, maybe exactly negative 1920. Uh, then I may go to three seconds, add another keyframe. And then at the end, I will again say negative 1920. So now essentially what I have is I have that graphic sliding on, hanging out, and then sliding off, you see. Okay, and I think I will go ahead and grab all of those keyframes and make them smooth keyframes. Now all I have to do is right click on this and just simply duplicate it. I will name the duplicate right, and then I will change the set matte effect to be the right slice, but it will still be subtract. And under the transforms, I just want to change this to positive 1920. I can do that by hitting the control key and clicking on it, and it will flip it to the other side, and then I will do the same on this side. 
so on that keyframe. So now you will see that both of these will slide in and then they will slide out. Now it does not matter where, you know, what I have in my graphic um, composite shot. So I can change this and make it something different. And it will work just fine. It'll be exactly the same, right? I can make it into a logo or a graphic, whatever. Again, I can, um, by adjusting the angle of the left slice, the right slice will automatically be adjusted and the final will automatically be adjusted as well. So now you can use this. It is a transparent item, so it can be moved or placed into a different composite shot. What you would do is you would want to save this project file as your slice graphic, and then you could import it as a composite shot by importing the project file, he, you know, the composite shot, but importing the entire project file, it will create its own project or composite shot inside of a folder. And then you can use that uh, entire project file in your project to create your lower third or graphic slice, whatever you want. So pretty much in a nutshell, that's how it works. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to uh, like this video and subscribe. Click on the little bell icon for notifications. And until next time, thanks for watching.